Good evening, everyone. Ruman72 back with another informative video. And as usual, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button on the uh, on the channel. It would help me out a whole lot and uh, would help me build up my uh, subscribership, which is always a good thing. So before I get into the video, let me do this. Uh, my new novel is available exclusively on Amazon for purchase. It's called The Children of Yakub, and it's available in paperback and Kindle. And not to give too much of the book away, it's about this very ancient group of vampires that have existed for thousands of years. And they've basically been behind the scenes uh, controlling world history events uh, all throughout history, in the Vietnam War, the Civil War, uh, uh, it's very deep. And there's an opposing group, we'll call them vampire hunters, if you will, and they know about the children of Yakub, and they've been fighting them toe-to-toe -to -toe for, for thousands of years. So it's uh, uh, basically a very covert, quiet war going on, and the book uh, spans different uh, uh, time periods, uh, takes place in outer space, not to give away anything to, 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 to a certain extent in the book. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty good read, and if you like it, and if you're into vampires and science fiction, um, it's probably a book you'll like. So again, The Children of Yakub, available exclusively at Amazon.com, uh, paperback, uh, and Kindle. But let me get uh, right into the video. So if you watched the title of a thumb, thumbnail, it's called Fruity and Confused. Now, what do I mean by that? Tonight, we're going to talk about uh, Donna Lemon over at the Caucasian News Network. You, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Donna Lemon, the so-called gay newscaster or news reporter uh, who seems to have an obsession with blaming straight black males for everything. According to him, straight black males are the number one problem in the black community because we promote homophobia. Now, that's a, uh, a buzzword used to discredit people Anytime people like Don Lemon don't like where you're coming from. The word homophobia implies a fear of gay people. Nobody's afraid of gay people. This is not about being afraid of gay people. But again, that's a buzzword to shut people up and silence people that he disagrees with. And he made the mistake of saying that straight black men are the number one oppressors of gay black men. Let that sink in for a minute. Straight black men are the number one oppressors of gay black men. No, Donna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, correct you on that. The number one oppressors of gay black men are gay white men. Let me say that again. The number one oppressors of gay black men are gay white men, because at the end of the day, a gay white man in America is still a white man. You understand? And anytime we deal with the issue of black and white, it's always the white man on top and the black man on the bottom. So for those of you who are black and call yourselves gay, you need to investigate the origins of your quote unquote lifestyle. How did that originate in America? How was it introduced to the black man? Through slavery, through a concept called buck breaking. And you can go look this up. What would happen was a lot of these white male slave masters were gay. And any time they caught a uh, rebellious black slave on the plantation who was a little bit more than they could handle, they would engage in a concept or, or a brutal act called buck breaking where they would take the, the black male slave, pull his pants down, and rape him in full view of other slaves. And that was done to break his manhood, make him feel like less than a man, and it was a warning to other slaves that this is what we'll do to you. So once he was broken mentally and physically, they knew that he would never be a threat. This practice was very, 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 very bad on slave plantations throughout the Caribbean islands. It was so bad that they had what they called sex farms on a lot of these islands. And what they would do, these white slave masters would pass around black male slaves to each other. 
and they, they would rape them from, from one plantation to another. So a black slave could be sent to one plantation and raped. Then he'd be sent to another plantation to be raped and so on and so on and so on. But Donna Lemon never wants to talk about that. And I'm sure Donna Lemon, I would have to assume he knows the origins of, 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 of his lifestyle in the United States of America. He should. And to take it one step further, he's quote unquote married to a white man. Talk about buck breaking. That's some serious buck breaking. That is the, the, the slave master slave fetish taken to a whole other goddamn level. You feel me? But he wants to talk about straight black men. No, we're not the problem. We're not even concerned about you. But you don't like where a lot of us are coming from. So because you don't like where we're coming from, you come up with this stuff about uh, straight black men are the problem. No, no, no. No, you need to go read a history book and learn some black history for sure. Because we ain't the problem. But he's not the only one that thinks like that. There, there, there are a lot of, of, of so-called gay black men who think just like he does, uh, trying to, to, to uh, blame us for his problems. Uh, and what's really troubling when we talk about buck breaking, buck breaking was not limited to men. It was also young boys that were being raped. And it's been said, that's where the concept of the baggy pants comes from. Because on the plantation, after the white man would rape the black male slaves, they would purposely make them wear the pants hanging down to let other white men know, hey, he's good for the taking. So Donna Lemon needs to go, if he doesn't know history, he needs to go research that and stop with the propaganda. You know what I mean? Like I like I said in in the title, fruity and confused, because that's what he is. Big time. Well, that's all I have to say on that subject uh until next time. But before I go, remember, you can go to Amazon, pick up my brand new book, The Children of Yakub. It's a very good book. You will like it, and uh I would appreciate it very much uh if you purchased purchased it. It uh, would uh, do me a lot of good. So until next time, I'm going to get off of here. But again, uh, remember, if you like my content, hit the subscribe button. Until next time.